Hey guys, what's up? So yep, as you heard it right from the title, Rafaela was inside her mama's tummy for 3 years while Argus was only there for 1 year. And they're twins! I know right, it just doesn't sound right. But it gets weirder than that. And I do mean weirder. To explain it better, we're gonna have to start at the beginning of the story. You see, there was a huge fissure that appeared in the land of Dawn, and from within that fissure came out some really bad stuff like abyssal creatures, dark energies, plague, and crock sleepers. All that nasty stuff that your mom told you not to get involved with. So the Lord of Light was like, oh, that's not good. He figured, I need more angels, more angels to fight off all those abyssal stuff. Now, how do you exactly create angels, you might ask? Well, as it turns out, in the Land of Dawn, the first thing you need to create one is a pure maiden. When we say pure maiden, I don't think I have to spell out what it means for you guys, right? Wink wink. What exactly will these pure maidens do though? Well, here's the tricky part. These pure maidens are then supposed to get pregnant and then give birth to angels. Angels that has the bloodline of the Lord of Light himself. Hmm. 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 How will these pure maidens get pregnant with the Lord of Light's bloodline though? Thankfully, it's not what you think. And personally, I think the Lord of Light doesn't have that much stamina. So no, it won't happen that way. For a pure maiden to get pregnant with an angel, they have to drink a special magic holy water. Hopefully, it's really an actual magic holy water though, and not some kind of metaphor. So anyways, that's how the process goes. Now the Monastery of Light, which by the way is where Alucard, Granger, and some of the other heroes that worked on wanted to make these baby angels happen. The Monastery of Light is basically the number one religion in the Munian Empire and is the servants of the Lord of Light. How the Lord of Light chose those pure maidens though were not specified, but from the actions of the clerics from the monastery, it seems like you're good to go as long as you're a pure maiden. The clerics of the monastery actually forced the future mother of Rafaela and Argus to drink that special dubious holy water in the name of the Lord of Light. These guys are sounding more like a crazy cult. Question is though, were these kinds of actions sanctioned by the Lord of Light himself or did these actions happen through some twisted belief of faith that humans are prone to? That we do not know. But one thing is for sure though, Rafaela and Argus's mother suffered a lot. Their mother actually had a lover and they were forced to separate as the monastery took in the mother right after forcing her to consume the special holy water. Now here comes the weird part. An angel's gestation actually takes 3 years. 3 long years of being pregnant. I mean, that's just insane. These were mortal bodies trying to conceive a powerful, holy existence. The mother grew more drained and exhausted with each passing month, not only because of the ordeal of the unnatural pregnancy, but because she was also heartbroken for being forcefully separated from her lover. After two years of misery, she couldn't take it no more. So at one night, she did what she had always been afraid to do. To oppose the wishes of the Holy Order of Light. She escaped the temple while hauling her big ass two year pregnant tummy and reunited with her lover. And together, they lived happily ever after. Psych! Not really though, cause after some months had passed, the Holy Order of Light were able to find them and hunt them down. The mother's lover was then slain in front of her. After that, the mother was returned back to the temple and after one year of unimaginable misery and grief, she finally gave birth and then died. She died of childbirth. However though, to the surprise of the cleric pricks, she actually gave birth to twins. One girl and one boy, which didn't make sense since only angel girls can be born through the Lord of Light's bloodline. 
When they looked closely, they saw that the color of the eyes of the baby boy was similar to the eyes of the mother's lover. Despite the weird turn of events, they kinda realized what went down during the time that the mother was with her lover, and I think you guys do as well. Now, there's so many questions on how could this happen, right? But apparently, the father of the boy was able to sleep in his, um, jeans during those months of happiness that they've spent together. The baby boy, which as you've probably guessed is Argus, also has angelic powers like his twin sister Rafaela, despite of being human blood. So basically same mother but different fathers. Rafaela's dad is the Lord of Light, while Argus's dad is their mother's slain lover. Argus also getting angelic powers though is a mystery. Maybe the side effects of sharing a womb with an actual angel? As weird as it sounds, it was pretty much the only conclusion that the clerics of the monastery could think of. However though, the existence of Argus itself was a blasphemy. The clerics felt that it was a taint unto the image of their perfect Lord of Light. So they decided to kill the baby boy. However, as they tried to slice the baby up, a dazzling light from Rafaela prevented any harm from befalling her brother. The weird-ass clerics then considered it as a miracle from their cherished angel and decided to stop trying to kill the baby boy. From then on, the monastery buried the dark past of the twins. They were raised together and underwent training and teachings from the Order of Light, brought up as angel warriors that will battle the abyssal forces. And there you go guys, that's the green pass of Argus and Rafaela. What exactly happens to their lives after that is a whole different story that we're gonna do on another video. Comment below which heroes you'd like to see next. That's it, stay safe and thank you for watching.